Hey guys, it's Madness Nail Art, aka Caitlin. Today I'm back with another Ipsy bag. So, this is the October Ipsy bag. It's Betty Boot themed. It's super cute. Funny fact, I was Betty Boot for Halloween last year. And then the theme for October is Flaunt It. And so, I already opened it, but let me show you what's in here. And the reason why I haven't done my base is because I think I got a primer. So, I have a lip scrub. It's called Kiss Me Buff, or Kismet, however you pronounce that. So, it's sugar lip scrub and bright and bubbly. And then, it looks like this. It has a seal on it. I... I just put my lip quencher on, so I don't think we're going to use it in this video, but I will let you know in the next video. Alright, then we got a brush. So this is a Betty Boop brush. And it's the Betty Boop Times Ipsy Eye Brush. So I guess it's a blending brush because it's fluffy. And then, let's see. I got Benefit Cosmetics, their Real Lengthening Mascara in Jet Black. So here's what that looks like. Alright, I'm excited to use that because I do need a new mascara. I think mine's getting a little old. Alright, and then we got the Camelina Plus Strobe Luminizing Primer. So, it's by Seraphine Botanicals, and then this is what it looks like. It's super cute, really cute packaging. And then, the last thing I already unpackaged this is the Space Case Cosmetics. It's a highlighter. So, it's called Scene from Space, or 1E. Alright, I think I showed you everything that's in this bag. So... I'm gonna take a moment to gather all the stuff I wanna use for like my eye, my face and stuff. I mean, we're not gonna grab highlighter today cause we got a highlighter. So I will be right, right back. So the only thing that I did apply was the incredible Jelly Shot Lip Quencher on my lips for lipstick so my lips aren't dry. And then we're gonna take the Camelina Plus Strobe Illuminizing Primer. I don't know how much, so. Sometimes less is more. Alright, so hopefully this goes gives me like a dewy. Sorry, I have my contacts in. My eyes get really dry sometimes, so I kind of blink a lot, but yeah. Alright, and then I'm going to put some on my nose. I do see a glow, I think. Let me... Alright, yes. Well, I kind of see a glow. Thank you, hair, for getting in my way. Alright, and then I'm just going to apply some more to my cheeks then. Alright. I do really like that primer. So, I'm going to take the Photo Balm Powder Foundation and then I'm going to take my Eco Tools brush. This doesn't have a number. So I'm just going to, because there's not much left in here. I am just going to put that all over my chin and then, because I think my chin, my nose, and my forehead need less coverage than my cheeks because I have really red cheeks. <sighs> so, sorry, I'm just getting that.
let me know if you guys would be interested in like things I want to use up like that type of video because like I, or I hit pan on a lot of things and then I'm going in with my NYX stay matte but not flat it looks just like that and then you probably couldn't see that so for my cheeks I kind of tap and twist around so I get the most product and then I like to put about three tap and swipes <laughs> on my cheeks and then you can blend that out if you want. Alright and then I'm gonna take my CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer. Oh wait actually nope. Nope. I'm going to set my powder foundation so I'm gonna spray. All right, there we go. All right, no, I can't put that there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Alrighty, and now I'm gonna grab some brushes. There it is. Okay, so let's take our concealer. And I'm just going to put that under my eye. And then I'm going to blend that in, so. Now keep in mind I'm wearing contacts. So I'm trying to be gentle today with my eyes. So it's probably going to be a nuisance to put on eyeliner today. Maybe I will skip it even. I don't usually really do that. But it all depends on the look. Alright, so then I'm going to take my Revolution Makeup Luxury Baking Powder. And this is in the shade Ghost. And then I'm just going to put a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't get in my jeans. Alright, so... I'm just going to take my Real Techniques 402 brush. This is the setting brush. You can use it for highlight as well. And then I'm just going to set my under eyes with powder. Okay. So that's that. So we're all done with foundation, so I'm going to put that over here. Oh, we do have an eye brush today. Alright, next I'm going to move on to my face. So, let me grab my contour brush. Alright, so, I'm going to take that and I'm just going to go for my hairline and put that all over. So, I'm just going to do that. Going more for another fall look. I mean, how can you not go for another fall look? It's kind of going to be similar to the one I created with my September Ipsy bag. But I'm using ColourPop eyeshadows today. Instead of Morphe. Which are both great brands, by the way. I have yet to get any of their chromatic um, palettes though, so let me know which one you guys recommend down below because I may have to just pick one up, so I'm just going to blend right away then. I think I might add more over here. Alright, uh oh. Not the best decision, I think. <laughs> Crap. I think we're still okay, though. Alright, now that I blended that out for my bronzer and blush today, I think I'm gonna use the sugar. Um, so, this is a mini blush. 
it's kind of a bronze shade so i think i may use that for a blush today and then i'm gonna take my physician's formula butter bronzer so i'm going to take my bh cosmetics number two brush this is their green festival set brush so You don't have to have the brushes that I apply things with. I mean, it probably would be nice if you really wanted to follow along with my tutorials. Not that I think anyone would, but... <sighs> yeah, so... I'm gonna just blend... I make sure not to blend in, like, with my contour. Just so it doesn't turn gray. Alright, and then I'm gonna blend that out. So, I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics number four, and we're gonna blend out my bronzer today. So, then I'm going to take this blush, and I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics number two in the Rose Quartz set. And I'm just going to dip into the blush. Ooh, it's really pigmented. <laughs> Uh-oh. Going ham on the blush today, so I'm just going to sweep that on my cheeks. Alright, and then I'm just going to go in once again. Okay. So, let me blend that in with the same brush that I've been using. So I'm just going to do that for you guys. Alright, so we're just going to bl er, blend, not blush. Alright, <laughs> right. I think that looks good. And then I'm going to take my trusty dusty BH Cosmetics number 3 highlighter brush. And I'm going to take the Space Case Cosmetics Scene from Space 1E highlighter today. Oops. Okay. It looks like this. It's very pretty. Um, oh, wait. I'm going to spray my cheeks with setting powder. Oh my gosh. I forgot bronzer on my chin and my forehead. <sighs> Do I ever think? No. No, I do not. Okay. Don't worry, I'm blending this out. Oh. Alright. Blend that out really quick then. Alright, so now we're gonna take, er, no, wait, <laughs> alright, so, now I'm taking that highlighter and I'm just going to put that on the cheekbone. Very subtle. I like that. Subtle's good, so I'm just going to put a bit more on. Alright. So, let's put that back. And then, I'm going to take This ColourPop Single Eye Shadow, it is a super shock shadow, it's a matte, and it's Elixir. That is a shade name. So, I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Crease Brush. This is just to pack it on, and this is number 5 in the Rose Quartz set. Oh wait, oh my god. 
hold on. Before I do anything, we're gonna do my brows, and then we're gonna prime my lids, because I totally forgot to prime my lids. So let's do that. Oh, I just got sprayed with powder somewhere. All right. So I'm gonna shape, I'm gonna shape my brows. Alrighty, and then I'm using my Pixie Third Edition Beauty Kit. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Ultimate Beauty Kit or something like that from Pixie. And then I'm just going in like that. All right, so I'm going to blend that in with the Billion Dollar Brushes brow brush with the spoolie. I'm not going to clean it up with concealer or anything because I don't think it needs to be. Why are you not going in the shape I want? Anyways, so we're going to use the Milani eyeshadow primer then. And then I'm just going to put that over my eyelids. So I'm going to feel my contacts and it's going to be weird. Okay, so. And we're going to make sure that we get our crease too. Yep, I feel my contacts. And that is weird. <laughs> okay. I think that's blended. Or blended enough at least. Oh, no. We're not gonna do the other eye. Right. Okay. So. I'm dipping right into Elixir then, like I mentioned before. Alright, so I'm going to put that all over my crease, so... I think my eye primer is set already. Did I wait the 30 seconds? No. Yeah. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. So then... Before I blend that out, because I think it's okay with blending out, I'm going to take, this is also a super shock shadow to set and finish, and so its name is Parad Paradox. So I used Elixir and Paradox, and then I'm just going to put that in the same area. Drag it out just like I did with Elixir. Alright, I think, uh oh, I don't know which cap's gone, which one's, I think that one's good. Alright, and then I'm going to take this super, super shock shadow, which is a satin finish, this is Jinxie, so it's a bit of a more shimmery one, but like a subtle shimmer because it is a satin finish. So I'm going to take my finger and then I'm just going to put that on my lids. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I totally forgot to blend. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we're gonna take the Buddy Boop and Ipsy brush and I'm just going to blend everything out. Alright. And then I'm 
going to take, this is also a super shock, so it's matte, and then this is Seeker, and then I'm going to take that on the Pika Tools brush right here, kind of rub off the color on here. Oh, this has the yeah, Beverly Hills color. Alright, so let's deepen up that crease then. Alright, and then let me blend that out I'm using the same blending brush, the Betty Boop and Ipsy brush. All right, and then I'm going to do my other eye off camera, so I will be right back with you guys. All right, guys, so this was the look created using the Zingara um, collection, so you can buy this on ColourPop, and then they send you them in these. I'm not sure if, like, the other ones from ColourPop come in, like, single pans, kind of like the ones from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Because when I got these, they came in like little plastic casings, so I had to buy those separately. Oops. I love these, by the way. <laughs> Alright. Anyways. So. Let us use the Their Real Mascara by Benefit. Oh my god, my nail polish is tripping. So. I'm not going to put any on my bottom lashes today, but I will use them on my top lashes. And then I'm just... Alright, so I did that about like four times. I usually count how many times I do it. Alright. Alright. I mean, this looks really good actually. Okay. Benefit comes through with the products. Yes. Alright, so I'm going to wait for that to dry. So while I do that, I'm going to apply my ColourPop lipstick. It's the Velvet Blur lipstick. It's called Mesmerize. It's a very pretty rose color. It would match my sweater perfectly. Well, my sweater is red. But pink and red are, like, monochromatic, so it's all good. <laughs> okay. Because you need red to make pink. Uh oh. I'm gonna stop a little. It's okay, this one doesn't bleed like a lot of my reds. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh, let me brush off my under eye. Should be all good then. And now I'm going to set my face. So, I'm gonna. Alright. So, this is the finished look today. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me find some better lighting. Actually, I don't think there is any better lighting. Because it's yucky and rainy outside, so indoor lighting is kind of all I got. Alright, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Alright, bye!